Alrighty, um, hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I go by the name Cryptic Lovecraft. And last week, I believe it was, I made a video um, addressing the situation between uh, David Ellefson and Megadeth. Um, for those of you who don't know, David Ellefson um, has been a longtime member of Megadeth. He's been in and out of the band, but whatever. So in my previous video, I, you know, addressed my own feelings on the situation and I was pretty harsh to Megadeth. Um, I accused them of giving into cancel culture and I've had a, another week to uh, think about it and I've talked to some people, some of you in the comment section uh, changed my mind on a few aspects. And so I'm just making this video to update what my thoughts are at the moment. And one of the things that I said in the previous video was that if they don't let David Ellefson back in the band, that I would be boycotting their next album. And I think someone else in the comment section might have actually said that they were going to do the same. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. Um, so my position now is I've changed my mind because I've kind of learned a few new things. Um, I didn't see the part in Megadeth's uh, press statement on the issue that there were already tensions building. And I also talked to a, an older guy at work who used to be my supervisor. And, you know, he's into metal too. And one of the things that <clears throat> um, when I and he knew about the situation between Megadeth and Ellefson and he told me something really interesting that stuck with me for the last week he said because I said you know I've done it too I've talked to Dirty to Chicks Online too and he was like yeah but when you do it it doesn't affect um, three other people um, and it's not just those three other people in the band it's management it's the record label the people who work there and I was like in the agent and I was like, huh, I mean, that's actually really interesting. I, I didn't think about it like that. And I guess if there were already prob personal problems behind the scenes and tensions that that might have just been the last straw. So I take back what I said. I'm not going to boycott their next album. Uh, truth be told, um, I mean, I've been looking forward to it since uh I got done listening to Dystopia when Dystopia first came out. It sat in my CD player in my car for months. And, you know, I've been looking forward to the next record. Um, so I'm glad I don't have to boycott it uh, after, you know, thinking about it and talking to other people about it and stuff like that. So, I mean, at this point in time, I mean, I just hope that, I mean, I wish uh, David Ellefson good luck in his future endeavors. And I hope Megadeth continues strong. Um, and I just want to say one more thing before I end the video. Part of the reason I got so worked up and part of the reason why I was so passionate about it was just because, I mean, there's a, just due to the cultural climate and what cancel culture is doing right now and how it's dividing us and how it's tearing us apart and how um, people are... I mean, people can make a mistake and they can't put it behind them. They can't move forward. And I think that that's really dangerous and I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I just didn't want to see that happen in the metal community. And um, I certainly didn't want to see it happen within my favorite band. But, um, I mean, I guess I just... I mean, we don't know everything, okay? We don't know what's going on in Megadeth, and they might not have been giving in to cancel culture. I just hope that's not the case. I hope they weren't giving in to cancel culture. Um, you know, they're way too metal for that. And um, th I think that was really the thing that was driving my passion and my anger and my disappointment was I was just concerned that they were giving in to cancel culture. And I just don't want the metal community to let that virus infect us i mean you know there's probably a time and a place for that kind of thing like uh you know what happened to marilyn manson i mean with those or not what happened to marilyn Manson, what he did um that was kind of heartbreaking for me because i've always really enjoyed him i've always related to his music i've always appreciated it i wasn't allowed to listen to him when i was a kid or my parents didn't allow me to and i did it anyway 
and so then I find out what he was doing behind closed doors with women and you know of course his record label dropped and they had to um, and I just I just hope that the situation with David Ellison is different than the situation with Marilyn Manson that's all um, so I think I've said what I need to say um, let me know what you guys think as always um, take care uh, horns up peace out